Namaste. Welcome, dear friends. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the upcoming course that I will be offering in conjunction with Dhammagiriya Retreat Center at the foothills of Southern Drakensberg. It will start in January and it will end in June. And there are two retreats, an introductory retreat at the end of January and an Ayurveda cleanse retreat in June. And in between there are 18 weekly sessions in, and in each session we'll be uh, looking at different aspects of yoga, Ayurveda and meditation on the body. The yogic, Ayurvedic and meditation um, practices are like three strands on a braid woven together. The yogic tradition draws predominantly from the Shivananda and Desika Cha lineage, which is the remedial yoga therapy. So the practices are very personal. The orientation is around uh, each person finding their own daily practice, looking at their own vulnerabilities, their own strengths, some of the weaknesses, and also to work with it in a way that accommodates uh, the changes that one feels on a daily basis. So that it isn't a set practice, it's a practice that is specific to each day. So that would be one orientation around the yoga. The Ayurveda is uh, very practically based. So Ayurveda, meaning the science of life, it's how to live a life well, how to live a life um, with, with health, with integrity, with balance, and with longevity. And here we'll be looking at the doshas, your constitutions, uh, what uh, would be appropriate for you to choose in terms of diet, in terms of colors, in terms of uh, spaces that you live in, in terms of food choices. We'll be looking at, at cooking, so that could be uh, quite fun. And then the meditative aspect is very much meditation on the body. So it's drawing from the lineage of Tibetan somatic practices. So working with the cellular breath, working with the belly breath, working with the movement of the values, the movement of the subtle winds throughout the system. So the focus is being on an embodied practice. And through this process we'll learn bit by bit, layer by layer, how to integrate all these wonderful traditions into our daily lives. The question really is, as a gardener, I ask myself the question, what am I growing? What, um, what seeds am I, am I sowing? What am I cultivating? So here we are cultivating a state of wellness and balance that is going to inform our lives for many, many years to come. I'd like to talk a little bit about integration. It's all very well having a fabulous retreat and then you come back and you think, oh wow, that was great, and two or three days later the retreat is dissolved into the background and the messiness of our lives have taken over. So firstly there's an integration into our lives. Then the other aspect is that it's integrating different aspects of ourselves. It's working on a mental level, on an emotional level, on a physical level, and on a spiritual level. The integration is also around various traditions. The yogic tradition, with the Buddhist tradition, with the um, Ayurvedic tradition. So, each person is going to find their particular strengths, their particular inclinations. Some people are more contemplative, other people are more practical. Some people might be interested and really want to pursue the Ayurveda. Other people might be more interested in the breath work. Other people might be more inclined towards the, the yoga, towards the postures, towards working with their practices on the mat. So the reason I've uh, constructed it like this is because it takes 90 days to change a habit pattern. And essentially we're living with these mental and physical and emotional patterns that create deep, deep grooves in the way that we approach things. And so 
in order to shift those patterns into, into something that can uh, serve us better, enhance our lives, it's going to take a kind of consistent, repetitive care. I'd like to really warmly welcome you. We uh, have a wonderful, wonderful group. I'm really excited to be working with this group. We have three more spaces left. So if you feel drawn, if you feel inclined, it would be our pleasure to welcome you. Namaste. Thank you very much.